Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin. Um, so this is LG's booth, uh, and it's still really crowded here. I thought it'd be a little less crowded because it's Saturday, but it's still pretty crowded. So I, ca I can't give you a tour of the whole booth, but there's some stuff that I just really want to show here. This is the new um, OLED TVs, and there's the thickness of four credit cards. Like, look at that. The glass is actually thicker than the TV, and these things are beautiful. I think they're selling them for like eight thousand dollars, but um, <laughs> it's just really cool. Um, so this, we got another shot of this. Look at that. This is stuff that you only really see at, at CES. Um, so moving on, let's see if we can get around here. We have the um, OLED. The, they have the the LG tunnel over there with the OLED TVs, which LG's uh, the only one that's really going hard on on OLED TVs. So we have the nano cell TVs over here, which is really cool. Um, you look, you have a regular TV on the bottom and nano cell on the top. So if you look to the left here, you can see that the color is much better on the nano cell, which is really cool. So like, if you're in a room full of people, your living room, say. And you don't, um, someone try, someone's sitting on the left of the TV, someone's sitting on the right, and they're all looking at a different angle. So with this, you're actually seeing the same picture from any angle. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see, you can see the difference even on camera. So even more in person. All right. So moving on. Uh, like I said, I just can't show you the whole booth because it's too crowded and it would just make for a boring video where I'm just bumping into people. Um, this, we have a levitating speaker over here. Which is pretty cool. Um, the levitating speaker, I, so th that's my favorite thing about the LG booth. because This is easily my favorite booth at CES because there's so much stuff here where I would ask them like, why does this exist? And they're like, oh, because it's cool, you know? Because we can, we can make a levitating speaker. Um, so it floats with um, magnets, and when the battery dies, it just kind of sinks down to the base, and the base charges the battery, and it starts working again. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool little gadget. These robots over here, I have a separate video on that. But what's really cool, I like the, the robot vacuum cleaner there. It's like a Roomba for mowing your lawn. I mean, no, the robot uh, lawnmower here. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. Yeah, it's like a Roomba for mowing your lawn. So that's pretty cool. I mean, the robot vacuum cleaner, that's like a Roomba, so it's nothing really that exciting. What about a dishwasher? We have some other stuff over here. A lot of it, a lot of it is smart home stuff, so let's take a quick look. We have the... Um, the smart fridge, which we can't really see, because like I said, it's crowded. So we'll just listen to this good demo for a little bit. We have seven days remaining until it expires. So we can see that it, uh, it runs windows, you can see from the one over there, it actually has a start menu. But, you can see, looks like Cortana over there maybe? Might be, I can't see from here. You can see that one over there, it's got the uh, Windows 10 start menu. So that's the difference between the, um, the LG one and the Samsung one. Samsung uses Tizen. So, that, that's kind of, um, you won't get the apps that you'll get with uh, Windows 10. And I know the Windows 10 store, the Windows store might not have the best apps, but it is better than Tizen. So, uh, yeah. Nah, I guess it's not, uh, no, nah, not Cortana. All right. Uh, you can access the food network for food recipes. Yeah, so these definitely uh, aren't the same ones, obviously. But uh, let's see if we can get in and see the Windows 10 one. Right up here is our panoramic camera. Oh, they have to show the camera in a second. It takes images of the inside of your refrigerator. So that way, when you're at the grocery store, if you're anything like me, and you never know what you have in the refrigerator when you get to the store, right? So you can pull those up on your tablet or your smartphone and so you can see what's here so you don't have 10 carts of cottage cheese or something crammed in the back of the refrigerator. Right? So we also, you know what is here in our 
door to door. We have our gold saver panel. Okay, so this can see um, what's in your refrigerator, and you can like check it from your phone uh, from that camera at any time. So that's pretty cool. And obviously on the other one, you can check your Facebook. Excuse me. Okay. Just get over here. Maybe it's too cold for that. So this one runs Windows 10, that one doesn't? Yes. This is Windows 10, this one runs WebOS. WebOS, um, okay. WebOS is integrated with Alexa, where this one is not. So, ah, but, you Cortana know, Windows, though. You can, yes, exactly. Right. It's right here. Okay. Yeah. So you can... My readers um, want Cortana. Yeah. <laughs> you can um, surf the web, download any apps, right. anything like that. The cool feature is the panorama. If you're at, sorry, my voice is off. <laughs> if you're at um, the grocery store, you're unsure if you have any milk left, you want to take a look, you can just look at your phone and uh, it's an updated picture. Can I record you? Can I? Sure, if you yeah, can. okay. No, because some, some, some of the booths are like, no, you can't record us. No, really okay, cool. So yeah. it's just an updated picture of your fridge at any time that you want to check. Um, okay. So let's see, another thing is right here. The fridge view, a whole bunch of okay. stickers and like that. You can make it go transparent. You can see directly into the fridge. So it's actually transparent? Oh, yeah, sweet. It's transparent. But you can remove the stickers, put them back on. Wow, okay. Like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So the cool thing is uh, right here, this is your smart tag. So you have a bunch of different stickers right here. You can put them on different items within the fridge. Okay. You have family members, different messages, things like that. Um, another thing is, this is probably this is a really cool feature right here. So, say you went to the grocery store and you got milk, and then you want to put the expiration date is the 13th. So it's going to keep track of the expiration date on that milk, cool. and it'll notify you when it has expired. Um, so that's pretty cool. So now it notifies you just here. Will it notify you like on your phone or? That's a good question. I'm sure it would. It's Wi-Fi enabled. You have everything on your phone. Okay. It's on the app. I'm sure it could. Well, I mean, does it work with like Cortana or something? Because if it works with Cortana, it could. It could. Now you don't know. Sorry. <laughs> sure. All right. Oh, question oh, for him over there. Okay. No but, problem. Um, yeah. So there's you know memos. You can write things. You can draw things. If you I just want to get notifications on my phone like the milk has expired. The milk has expired. I know. So then, like different. It's gonna snow tomorrow. Like Dad said he was headed to work. Things like that. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really cool though. And we can play solitaire and Minecraft. Yeah. You can go on note. You can write a paper on your fridge if you want it. Yeah. Right. Right. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Excuse me? Excuse me? Trapped. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a little too crowded, but uh, we are getting some cool demos here. And, and uh, so I'm going to keep recording for now. It's always crowded over there because there is some really cool stuff. Like, like seriously, no one needs a Windows 10 fridge. And I mean, seriously, also, yeah, I'm going to make two fridges. One has WebOS, one has Windows 10. But, hey. Yeah, so the air purifier with the Superman 2 rings. So sad that it doesn't actually come with the Superman 2 rings. I would totally buy it just so I could stand in the middle of them and yell at URL. But whatever. Um, yeah, here we are again with the uh, the dry cleaner, which I think is really cool. I mean, it's one of the, one of the cooler things that uh, the LG. But I, you know, there's tons of cool stuff with the LG. But so it's like a dry cleaner for your uh, for your house. Um, so it's uh. I mean, it's, it's not a complete, it's meant so you can dry clean less, I guess, but still, really cool stuff. Um, and that's about it. Um, so, I, I mean, honestly, I'm not going to show you the phones and the new uh, the new tone stuff, because it's just way too crowded. So I'll, I'll have some photos, and I'll post all of that. Anyway, I'm Rich from Neowin, and have a great day.